Hello, you Cancer. Welcome. So this is going to be you versus them reading for October 2022. But actually, it's a timeless reading. So if you happen to come across that another time that you meant to see it, that will be it. Um, but I'm trying to shoot for October for anybody that watches it right now. Hopefully, this will be energy for October for you guys. Before I get started, I just want to thank everyone for being patient with me. I had a problem with my comments um, section. I wasn't getting them. I put out uh, six regular videos four short videos. I actually even scheduled three more at the same time for the next morning. And I wasn't getting any comments. I'm like, well, that's odd. And um, I put out a lot of videos. Well, they were getting stuck. I wasn't seeing them or I couldn't access them. They're, you, they were there on the video. I just couldn't get to them. Unless someone um, sent me... See, the comments come to me sometimes in emails and sometimes it's on my channel. And then when I click on it, I could see it. But when I went to click to reply to it, there was nothing there. And I could not get into the video to reply unless I was able to get a comment through an email. Then when I put reply to the email, it brought me right to the sign. So if someone sent me a comment, I was able to get into that sign then and all the other comments were there, I was able to reply. So it was a long, tiring day yesterday trying to straighten that out. I started early in the morning and I didn't get all the comments. I love to write to you guys. I don't, you know, I want to have that where you know that I'm actually, you know, I care. I'm connecting to you. So I do try to reply. So that was really bothering me if I couldn't. So I was planning and I did all that extra work so I could have some free time to myself and that didn't work. So now with these videos, I'm making sure I'm getting these done for you guys, but I'm not going to do all the extras at the end just because I really need some time to take care of some personal matters. So, um, but I didn't want to jip you out of any videos. So here we go. This is going to be your side. This could be your person's side. And let's see what's happening for you guys. What's going on for cancer? What are your thoughts about them? Ooh. We have the Page of Swords, the Magician, and the temperance okay also waiting for something here so it looks like you might be watching them or trying to figure out what they're up to you want something your thoughts about them is you like to manifest something here you like to have a connection with this person uh page of swords is aquarius libra gemini the, for me for the magician is aries and aquarius and temperance is sagittarius so you're trying to manifest something here trying to also be a blending of something here you might have to blend two families or blend something there's something that you're having a lot of patience with that you want to your thoughts are that you can probably try to make this work because you are the magician you feel very confident about this but you have been watching them with the spy guy here okay let's come um, clarify or you've been trying to find out what they're up to you know either watching the social media or asking their friends about them or going by their house going by where they work you're trying to get information okay let's clarify this page of source two of cups yeah you have a lot of love here you might see them as your soulmate you want this um long-term connection here magician we have the queen of swords okay so your thoughts are maybe you're seeing them as queen of swords maybe you're seeing them a little cold or maybe um they're defensive or they're sort of closed off or they want the truth or they want something maybe you're supposed to tell them something give them some information that it feels like they're they're waiting for something they're waiting for you to tell them something okay what about this temperance the star okay hopes and dreams and wishes come true okay so it's also could be aquarius here so it looks like you're being very patient because you see them as your wish fulfillment and we have the page of wands. You want to get a message to them. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, let's go on to their sign now. What are their thoughts about you? Hmm, they're thinking about the past quite a bit. I need to make a decision here. But I think they're thinking about you and what happened between you. And they think of you as their world. Yes. They want to offer you the Ace of Cups here. And they probably see you as very independent. Their thoughts are, okay, you don't need them. You could do, you're fine on your own. So maybe they're wondering whether or not you'd be interested. See? <laughs> exactly. They want to come to you with a cup, 
But they don't know if you're going to take the offer. Okay, let's clarify. What about the two of wands? Justice. Okay, they want to bring fairness, justice into the situation. Libra energy. Okay, why the Ace of Cups? What are their thoughts about you? Ooh, there's a lot of memories here. They have very fond memories of you, maybe from childhood. Also, this could be, even if you guys don't really know each other that well, or really, there could be someone new that's coming to your life and say, I don't know what it is, but I am so attractive to cancer. There's something about cancer. I can't get away from this. That could be because you had a past life connection. Or you, you have been together in this lifetime, and they're thinking a lot about it. And you could also have past life, too. That's why you're brought together again. Let's see why we have this Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we have here the Emperor, Aries Energy. Okay, their thoughts, maybe they think that you're a little controlling. <laughs> um, this is what this could be, because this is their thoughts about you, independent in control, or that you like to be in control. This also could mean that um, you, maybe you are in charge of something where you have a lot of responsibility or in control, and they see that. Okay, here we have, but they're stuck about how to contact you how to get this the ball rolling okay they don't know what to do okay now what are your feelings towards them mm. <laughs> the emperor <laughs> aries energy the devil Ooh. interesting now oh ten of cups okay They're feeling that you're very strong. You're you might both be in a position of leadership or, or something like that, but they're also feeling a very um strong, like undesi undeniable. Let's say undesirable, undeniable attraction. So you're feeling a very, uh, you're feeling an undeniable attraction to this person. You want to move away from something, maybe something that is toxic, to go towards them. Okay, let's see. Could be vice versa. Guys, you know that. All right, let's see. Why is the emperor here? Ace of Cups. Okay, you both have a lot of love for each other. It almost feels like you guys are really are like on the same level, partners, or doing this. Are you in the same business doing the same? Are you competition? It almost feels like there's two leaders here. Like could be in the same exact business in competition, but in love with each other. Okay, why do we have the devil here? Three of Cups. Parting. Celebration. Um, maybe you feel that they party too much. They're, or they're addicted to something. They're addicted to partying or going out and not staying. You know, they, they don't settle down. They, they're too much of a partier. Okay, why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Pentacles. Wow, I like these sixes. It means you're going towards the right thing here. The, it seems like you feel like you could go to the, this person, leave whatever is here. Maybe you're leaving a toxic situation of someone that is always partying to go towards this person because you fear you might get an equal give and take with this person. And we have you to work on this. Yeah, this is happiness here. You feel this person makes you feel happy. The devil card could just represent a Capricorn. The emperor could just uh, be um, an Aries. But there is this... um. For some of you, I feel like someone is very in toxic situations. Maybe people, they hang out with people that partly like to party. They might be in third party. For others, I feel like this person just makes you happy. And for some of you, even still, I feel like you're trying to move away from this person in your life to go towards this person. Okay. I mean, it is a general reading. So there's all different things coming up here. Let's see. What are their feelings towards you? They want to come towards you when off here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, slow and steady to work on this situation and to bring in this commitment, this Ten of Pentacles. This person might be saying, okay, I, I have this idea. This is what I, I feel we can do. Um, I'm feeling like they're telling you their plan here with this, this Knight of Pentacles. This is my plan. I think we could work together 
And if we, and I'll, especially if you guys are too in competition, if we brought our, our, um, two businesses together, we'll make a killing. <laughs> and of course, that's not going to be for everyone, but I, th this stands for a lot of money and, and uh, this could be an inheritance, financial abundance, and also, um, is a long-term commitment. Look at this. D definitely wants to work together with you. So that's why I feel a very strong view. Either just working together. You both have this on, you think you could work well together. Whether it is a business or, or this love partnership. It could be both. Okay. So now, why do we have this Knight of Pentacles? Slow and steady goes Knight of Pentacles. Slowest Knight in the deck. Let's see. Okay. They're taking a break here. They might be on vacation at this time. Or they feel they need to take a break from this so they they can really clear their head. They might be healing too. If someone's um a brief illness or something, someone's trying to heal here. Or this also could be saying they want to heal this connection. Okay. This person's doing a lot of soul searching. They're I yeah, very I keep on getting they, my guys keep on telling me heal, heal, heal. They want to heal this, they want to heal what other things. Some people are also healing something at work. Working on fixing something here. There's some kind of trouble at work, so they're trying to fix it before they come towards you. Okay, what about this um, Ten of Pentacles? Ooh, the sun, happiness. Yeah, this person has high hopes for you. And they're moving away from something to come towards you. Uh, you guys are mirroring each other. But this person is planning something. I definitely feel like a strong strategy planning to bring you guys together. Whoa, I just got dizzy. Does someone... Is someone off on their meds or something? It's like, whoa. Take your take your meds if you didn't take them. Because all of a sudden I just got like someone's off. Their equilibrium's off. It just threw me for a minute. Okay. Let's see now. What action? What action um, might you take towards them? We have the Hierophant. Commitment. Taurus Energy. Okay, maybe taking a time off or taking a vacation together for this commitment. Whoa, okay. So your action that you want, you want you want this commitment or you want something steady, something and you want to heal this. So I think you also want to go towards them to speak your truth and get the truth out of them. Aquarius Libra Gemini energy. And we have the Empress. Okay. I, I think you're standing in your Empress energy. Taurus Libra energy for the Empress, but I think you're here. We have the Emperor. I think you're standing in temp um, in the Empress. I think you guys are a power couple, and also, I mean, you could, you know, you could switch these if you need to. But we both have the Emperor and the Empress here, so there is definitely a power couple going on. You're both very strong here. Maybe it could be the business that you're in, you know, that is you're both doing quite well in it. Okay, why the higher pin? Let's see. Clarify this higher pin. Eight of Pentacles. Want to work on this connection for long term. Or it could be, I mean, this also, the Hierophant could be a, like an institution, a, um, educational or something, a structure, an environment. You know, maybe they want to work on with you on there. Uh, I don't know. It's, I, I'm getting all these different things coming in here. Okay, what about this Four of Swords? The Hierophant. Holy moly, definitely you want commitment. <laughs> you want to heal this so you guys could be together. Taurus energy. And then we have the Page of Swords. Are you watching this person again? <laughs> In the end, the last card, first card and last card, you're keeping tabs on this person. And then we have the Knight of Wands. You want to go towards them passionately and make an offer. But you are right now, your action that you're taking is watching them because you want to know how you can talk to them, bring out the truth here. And what you actually want from them. Okay, oh, I just looked at the time. It was 14, 14. I would say that's changes. Five and five. Okay, now what action will they take towards you? Or what they possibly could take towards you? We have, ooh, they want a new begin. The full Aries and Aquarius energy. Whoa, we have the devil. Capricorn energy. And the lovers. And we have here the two of cups this person has a lot of love this person is obsessing over you since i got the fool card here plus the devil and the lovers and this saying this person can think of nothing else but you they are totally obsessed with this connection so right now what they're doing they want to take a leap of faith they want to bring this together 
and they're obsessing over how to do it. Okay, now why do we have the Fool card here? Queen of Swords. Okay. <laughs> Who's the Queen of Swords here? Or are you both that way? It's like you're both afraid to like come together, or, but they you both want the truth here, though. Okay, what about this devil? Knight of Wands. Okay. So you're both thinking of coming towards each other with a lot of passion and desire here. Coming quick. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, what about the lovers? Gemini energy? What the lovers? Ooh, the tower. Shocking change. The hangman. Now this is like a waiting, but seeing things in a different perspective. There's they want to shock you somehow with this choice or this coming towards you in love. Yeah, they might this person might come out of the blue here. They they're planning on shocking you somehow. But they want to change. They want to make sure that you guys get together here. Okay. So let's see what is the energy between the two of you. Let's see what we get for that. Nurture. Self-love is essential. A time to address your needs and ground yourself. Okay. And then we have wisdom. Let the accumulation of your life experience guide you to your decision. And socialize. Interacting with others brings both balance and happiness. Okay. So the thing is to nurture this connection and be very wise about it because I think you guys are both very wise anyway. And the thing is with the socialize, it means to come together and talk about it. Deception. Things are not as they seem. Watch out for dishonesty. Okay, someone is holding back. There's some kind of dishonesty here. It could also be just the fact that someone's a little nervous that they're going to be... I think you both are afraid of getting hurt. So that puts up your wall here a little bit. Wow, guys. But it looks like you guys are going to definitely come together. Now, um, this is where I'm going to leave this because, like I said, I got... I don't. I just want to make sure I got you these um, readings out. And the other day just threw me back quite a bit. So, I, please leave me comments. Let me know if you do like this. Um, I like to read your comments. And um, I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.